YouTube family, what's going on? Welcome to Backyard Food Farm. Um, this is going to be a, a video about raising ducklings and what you can expect. Um, basically, you're going to get them in the mail. These are seven days old and uh, they actually actually grew almost, not double, but they literally put on some a lot of ounces in those, um, in those few uh, days. Uh, but I want to show you the setup and what you can expect. This right here is a doggy. Um, it's the largest one you can get. It's a dog uh, pool. It's a dog pool, a foldable dog pool. And it's perfect for raising chickens. Um, I forgot what you call the, the actual thing. But it's perfect for raising chickens, raising um, baby chicks, uh, baby turkeys, ducks. And um, it works well. I raised 45, I want to say 45 to 50 um, uh, eating chickens, uh, meat birds, in this right here. And, uh, you know, of course, took them outside when it when they got to a certain age. Um, and basically what you want to expect when raising baby ducks, they're gonna be scared of you. These are, um, what are they? I forgot the, the kind. These are Khaki Campbell ducks. Um, and I've, I've raised them before. They're very scary. Um, you know, they're very skittish. So they will never, in my experience, they will never get truly tame and used to you. They are kind of are very independent and do their own thing. Um, but what you want to get is, like I said, this for me was the best um, thing for you know raising the animals. It's foldable and it's it's a uh, made to be a pool. So whenever water gets, because ducks get disgusting, you know they're very nat messy animals. So even if water does spill over, it's not like you have a box or anything that's going to get nasty. It's going to come into this um, thing that was made to be filled with water and not leak. So that's perfect for clean up and just staying clean. Also, you wanna have pine shavings as your bottom. Um, and I did not fill this up. I got I got another one. Uh, I'll probably get pick one up today. But I fill this with pine shavings and every time they poop, you just wanna put another layer on top and another layer on top and it doesn't smell in here, nothing. Um, you just wanna keep on it and um, you know, keep putting pine shavings every time they get the uh, that one layer filthy. And um, then you wanna get a heat lamp, of course. Khaki Campbell's, um, it's, for the temperature right now outside is approximately about 50 degrees um, every day. And it's slowly rising, slowly turning into spring. So um, I really don't gotta worry about too much heat like that because especially ducks, they're very well insulated already. Um, but other than that, you want to feed them a crumble. Now this is a starter crumble, and I give it to them full access. Um, they get so messy, I just don't fill it all the way up because sometimes this will get caked up and you'll have to clean it out. Um, and you don't want to waste all that food. So I just fill it a little bit at a time. You know, maybe they'll be done with this in about maybe two days. Three, nah, probably about three days, four days. Um, and then you want to get yourself a watering um, a watering thing, watering jar, whatever you want to call it. Um, get it from Tractor Supply, get it from Amazon. I got this one from Amazon for about $7.99, maybe a little bit more. But it's very convenient. Fill it up with water. And um, you don't have to worry about that for about, I would say, a day and a half. Because I like to ch uh, change this water out for these ducks. So they don't get, um, see they're so scared. So they don't get dehydrated. Yeah, he's really scared. But um, they will grow ridiculously fast. So that's pretty much your setup. That's all you wanna do. And um, like I say, as they get dirty, refill the layer of pine shavings um, every time. And this is literally a carefree setup. You don't have to worry about anything. I would brace this, I'm gonna brace this better. But brace this pool with um, like a wood bar or something so that it doesn't collapse because the water pressure is supposed to keep it, um, you know, suspended. But sometimes, uh, you know, when you put your heat lamps on there, they will tend to collapse to fold in on itself. So you want to get, um, you know, something to brace it so you don't cause any fires. I actually have a fire detector right here just in case. Um, also, one other thing for the Khaki Campbells, you want to get a broiler booster. I just do this with all my feeding, chip my feeder chickens and all the chickens that I get for the backyard food farm. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. 
Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight of what you can do. And of course, that's a heat lamp. You can get that at your uh, tractor supply or Amazon. And that's all you want to do. And these guys will take care of themselves. They're very independent animals. Even at a young age, they know what to do. Um, with some chicks, you have to dip their beak in the water. But in my experience, like most animals truly know what to do from birth. As long as you provide them with the right care, uh, you're going to be on your road to victory and, um, you know, raising some healthy, healthy animals. If you guys want any other information, let me know. Um, email me up all my information. I hope you subscribe, like the video. I'm going to be having a lot of farm videos because I have a mini backyard farm. And um, you can see a transformation. And uh, I'll put some short clips in this so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, started it last year and this year I'm going to expand to get some bees. So I hope you guys can follow along and enjoy the ride. Appreciate your subscription and your time. Peace.